You don't want them to kill the chicken. Why don't you want them to kill the chicken? How? Because the chicken is itchy. Hey, hey, very very itchy. The chicken is innocent. It's innocent. It's innocent. It's innocent. Innocent. If you kill chicken, the, you, the, the ghost, the, the ghost will come out. The chicken ghost. Yes. Chicken ghost. Chickens don't have ghosts. Yes, they do. Do 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 do. Hey. So guys, we just came from Hello. church and we decided to stop over and kill chicken. The, kill the chicken, so we can make. Tea don't kill chicken. Rice. Everybody, don't kill chicken. They've heard you. They won't kill. Please don't kill your own chicken. <laughs> Keep it for me to come and take it and kill it and eat it. No! No, 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 Give me the water. The shorter is sweet like Ghana. What is this? What is this? This is my phone. This is my phone. Move all of them. This is boring. They make me better. This is not sweet. And I ask you, what is that? Don't mean sweet, but you're not sweet. Ow! Ow! Hey guys! Ow! My cow! My cow on this bad road! Hey guys! Good afternoon! I was just about complaining to you guys on how hot this sun is. I want to believe someone is frying Gary somewhere on this earth, on this earth, somewhere in earth, right? I am sure someone is somewhere frying Gary. Alpha, I feel pop my tire. I don't know, I don't know the way flat. The black thing will be different. You can't tell me that someone is not frying Gary somewhere up there. The car is too hot. If this of uh, uh, our friends, you know, in diaspora, if they can just help us create a little of that their cold weather for us, I'll be so happy. Oh, the heat is just too much. The heat is too much. 92 degrees, but it feels like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm trying to pump my tire. Then I pick up my kids. It's around three o'clock. I won't go carry them. I will come back. I will pump back. Pump back now. Pump back. Okay, so let me go back. Uh, is it okay? Uh, it's okay. All right. So yeah, how are you guys faring with the heat? How are you guys coping? When I left the house, I had to leave my AC on so the car, the room will be cold or chilled before I come back. So I can just slide down and sleep. The heat is too much. It's too much. Ah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I love rambling, but I'm tired. The heat is just it's tired of I'm tired of the heat. It's tiring me. So the last adjun for the last thing, my lord. Not really trying to date right now. Still trying to figure my own life out. And I don't wanna love anybody else. Till I learn how to fall in love with myself Maybe I'm insecure or maybe the world is the problem I guess I'm not really sure So how do I learn what I'm worth? Okay. 
morning. I'm actually done today um, with what I'm supposed to do here. So I'm about to head off to spa. I need to do some shopping. I've been eyeing something and then I want to just enter spa and just see one or two stuff. I also need to get maple syrup, sugar, so I can make pancakes for my kids. I need to stop by the market and maybe get some smoked fish to make a cold soup for my family. I have a couple of stuff to do today, but I thought I don't need to get to the office and drop this files. How are you guys doing? I'm super, super exhausted. I'm tired, I'm hot. Um, I'm thinking of stopping by at any of the gas stations to see if I'll see foil. But if I don't see foil, I'll just manage one I have already. So, yeah, this is how we're looking to get this thing. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys. But once I get to the spa, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye. The heat in this car is just... Oh. The heat in this car is just... Gee, God! 100 degrees! Yesterday, it was 92 and I was complaining. Today is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my God, so hot. It's so hot outside, Jesus. Do you guys see how I'm looking? Just thank God for my sunscreen. I'm using that Bondi's um, sunscreen. It has been helping. If not, my face should be looking very dark. Um, because of the sunscreen, it's protecting my skin from the heat. Okay, but I'm exhausted. I just put on the AC. I have something to show you guys. Let me show you. My favorite. Bole, we have some bole in the house to munch. Yes. So yeah, I have some bole and fish to eat. But first of all, I'll just go have a cool shower, sit down, eat this bole and fish. Then I have a haul to show you guys some things we got on the way while coming back. Well, yeah, it's it's been a successful day by God's grace. 
But once I finish eating, I'll take you downstairs to the kitchen and show you guys the things I got from my little trip from work to the house, okay? Alright, talk to you guys later. I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo. I finished eating biscuits, they won't let me talk. I'm about to do the little haul. Let me show you guys. Um, this angle is better. Let me show you guys the things I got. First of all, I don't know if you guys, I didn't bother videoing that part because I've actually shown you guys a lot of time when I go to the market. So, guys, as I said, I got Okazi. Let me open it and just show you guys. So, yeah, from the same lady I usually buy from. You guys saw the last time I went to the market. That same lady I got from her. So if you don't know now, just know that Okazi is like a staple food in my house. My husband likes it in his best soup. So I'm making that and I have to get smoked fish. Even if I'll use our dry fish that we have at home, I still need this fish because this is what I eat. I don't eat that dry fish. I got maple syrup. I stopped over at the supermarket while I was coming and I got maple syrup for the kids. So they can use it for their pancake. They've not had pancake for a while and Isabel has not has refused to allow me rest. So I just got my um, maple syrup for the pancake and some butter to make pancake maybe for tomorrow. We'll take it to school tomorrow. Then I got a little sugar as well. Then I stopped by a Prince Trust or Prince Mega Trust agency and I got um I got like can you leave that girl? I'm making a video. Leave her girl. Leave her alone. I got three whites. We're running low on Renee's white, so I just got more to just pop up the ones she goes to school with. Then, so my husband loves to use. I don't know why. For scent eyes, I got him his body lotion. Then I got two or three of this. I got three of this, but I don't know where this kid dropped the other one. So. And for my stretch mark, I asked them what I can use for my stretch mark and they recommended I use this with my bio oil. I already have bio oil at home, so I'll try this. It's okay. Let me tell you guys something. Before Isabel, or before, before Isabel, no, after Isabel. I don't know, I think before Isabel or something. Before Isabel or after Isabel, I'd actually cleared all my stretch marks. Like, my tummy was almost like very smooth very clear and everything but after Renee I still have stretch marks left and my skin my skin is still somehow um, stretched so I need to tighten it up and I'll be using this gel the advice to use this gel and um, what is it called and buy oil then I have a video on my channel talking on how I cleared my stretch mark yes that was that was after Isabel because I was actually in the US. I actually cleared my stretch mark like to an extent that you hardly see it unless you come very close. And some of those things I use, I got them fresh like aloe vera and everything. I got them fresh, fresh from um, Walmart and everything. But here I don't have that time. Like guys, I don't have that time here. It was convenient for me over there, but it was it's not convenient here to do all those stress. So I'll just try this one they said this one works i'll try it with bio oil and see but what i used that time was palmas i'll check that video that video is on my channel i'll still go through it and see the things i used that helped me that time but it actually worked okay it was one of the videos i made in the u.s about my stretch mark and it actually works so yeah i want to try this one with that i'll definitely come back here and tell you guys the result though I'll try it with um bio oil and let you know one week update, two weeks update, hopefully one month update. So yeah, so basically those are the things I got. I have premise for at home. I use it to make a kazi soup. But now what I want to do is just pour this one in a in a, a tray so it doesn't get sweat and doesn't get soaked basically because it can start sweating very soon and kazi doesn't take time to get spoiled. So 
I'll just clear up this place and I'll talk to you guys later. There's no light. They just took the light. So that's why I came to the kitchen to eat. I wanted to eat in my room. But yeah, I'll just relax, watch some YouTube videos, and I'll come back later. Brittany is crying. I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. Hey guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? So, guess what? I just filled my tank this morning. I filled my tank. I got a um, there's a filly station that I mean, a fuel station that sells. Uh, let me wind up. They know it's too much from the traffic. That sells um, two ten. Other ones are selling two twenty, some two thirty. And I saw one very close by here that sells two ten. And I just entered there and I filled up my gas. And sometimes, like two three weeks ago, those people were selling two hundred. They later moved to two twenty, and now they're selling two ten. So it looks like fuel is actually coming down. It look, it's looking like that. So this gas should actually last me till maybe fuel normalizes and and everything. So I'm super excited. I just feel I should come here and let you guys do it because it seems for like two three videos now I've been complaining, complaining about fuel scarcity, not getting fuel and everything. But finally, at least with my money, I can now get gas. I got gas. I, um, and since they've been selling for a while, I don't know like. I got gas for 210 which I think is really affordable um, compared to 270 compared to 300 that we used to experience two, three weeks or four weeks back. So hopefully that everything comes back to normal by next year. Because I heard places like Lagos, um, Abuja, they've normalized their fuel pump price. Uh, hopefully that happens in Port Harcourt as soon as possible. So how's the day going? Happy Wednesday and I am off to work. I have a couple of stuff to do this morning in court. There may be one or two stuff I need to do with regards to tenancy agreement and everything but I should be pretty done before 2-3 so I can go pick my kids as I usually do but yeah just wanted to give you guys a little update of what my today is going to be like and i'll catch up with you guys maybe when i come back or tomorrow oh, i don't even know i think this vlog is already long i should end this vlog and start another one so if i end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoy the vlog please if you do give me a thumbs up like share subscribe and yeah see you in another one bye